Hello. Um, just re uh, read a new article. It was looking at uh, same-sex behaviors in other animals besides humans. And, you know, certain examples have been known for a while. Bonobos, dolphins. But they've... I did not know it was this widespread, but apparently it is. Apparently, this re report indicates that all a animals on Earth assume. I assume that does not include, um, you know, hermaphrodite with heavy. But, anyways, all animals on Earth show some sign. Uh, species, not every individual. Uh, all animal species some show some sign of um, homosexuality in in their population, and like I just said, uh, dolphins, bonobos, which are a type of uh, monkey, or you know, they're an ape too. Uh, sheep, goats, uh, <laughs> some lizards. All the way down to fruit flies and locusts all exhibit same-sex behavior. Now, why, I'm bring, why am I bringing this up? Well, it's pretty simple. The old argument about homosexuality being unnatural or what have you. Well, it boils down to two things. One, it's a choice, and two, it's not the right choice. Well, and usually this is done from the religious side of everything and how God gave us the choice and blah blah blah. Well, it, that contradicts, with this new study, that contradicts um, something else. In fact, I've been planning to do this for a while, but Got, but this study just expands it. I did. I only knew about a half dozen species that they recorded this in before the study. But so there's another thing that, for example, in this example, the Bible tells us. The Bible tells us that uh, humans have free will. Animals don't. So humans can make the choice, but animals can't. So if that's the case, then um. How are the animals making the choice then? And if they're not making the choice, then that means... Yeah, so... If... Yeah, so, right. If animals don't have free will, then they're not making a choice. And if they're not making a choice, then humans aren't making a choice. And that's what the research suggests. And of course you want to argue the other way. Please tell me how a locust or a fruit fly can choose to be gay. Doesn't seem too likely there, no. Well, just wanted to put that out there.